LA is definitely an artistic place, but what if I told you that there was a place in downtown Los Angeles that has art pretty much on every side of the building. There's murals everywhere. I just have to turn around and there's murals, more art, more things to discover. And there's really all these different things going from regular murals to tags to all of these things. And as I did say, Hollywood is a magical place. It's always sunny, it's always beautiful. And I love living here. Hey guys and welcome to beautiful sunny California. In this episode we're going to be exploring the Arts District area of Los Angeles and the reason that we're visiting this area is simply because as the name of this area says it's super artistic. There's so many decorations. A lot of the buildings have a lot of murals and a lot of decorations and there's just so much art around here. It used to be a kind of rundown area but as of late it's becoming more and more gentrified so there's more cafes, restaurants, things to do, art galleries, and yeah just so many things to see here it's kind of like an exterior or outdoor museum and I just really love looking at all the art pieces right here so without any further ado let's explore the arts district is a neighborhood on the eastern edge of downtown Los Angeles California largely composed of industrial buildings dating from the early 20th century the area has recently been revitalized the street scene slowly developed in the early 21st century New art galleries have increased recognition of the area amidst the entire downtown where other art museums are found. One thing that I must say about the Arts District is that yes, there are a lot of decorations, a lot of murals on all the buildings and it is really interesting to walk in but at the same time there's a big section of this Arts District that is very industrial and the reason is because before being gentrified it was a place where there was a lot of warehouses, a lot of uh, companies that used to have their location right here and even though there are still quite a few companies it's slowly getting more and more into that gentrified cafe and restaurant uh, kind of feel to it but at the same time a lot of companies as I did say are still here and because of that industrial look some areas don't look as nice as some of the other areas in this arts district but at the same time because the buildings are decorated they are doing their best in order to keep this artistic feel to them so a lot of the buildings even though they are companies they still have murals and stuff so yes they're interesting to look at but at the same time as i did say well it does have that industrialized look and because of that it might feel a little bit more unsafe but actually it's 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 fine this is a really great area to walk in the reason that this area became what it is today is because in the mid-70s, many artists had been priced out of areas such as Venice and Hollywood. Therefore, a handful of artists saw an opportunity in the empty buildings and began colonizing the area, converting former industrial and commercial spaces into working studios, sometimes renting space for as little as three cents a square foot and creating living quarters. This resulted in a surge of artistic activity, including many buildings getting murals to them. This tradition has continued throughout the decades and because of that businesses tend to one-up each other with intricate art. One of the buildings that really stood out for me was this huge mural showing various elements of pop culture, including highlights of important events that happened in the past century, as well as caricaturing some well-known entities that make up Hollywood and its filmmaking history. One thing that I found very interesting in this arts district area is the fact that even though all these businesses are modern and obviously very trendy, at the same time they kind of have this post-apocalyptic dystopian feel to them and obviously this has to do with the fact that this used to be an industrial area but it's kind of cool how they merge old with the new and new with the old and as I did say a lot of these buildings are actually remodeled so they're technically new but because they're made out of brick it, it, it has this sort of as I said post-apocalyptic feel to it but it's, it's really cool and it really works and gives this whole area even more of an artistic vibe. Even though the Arts District is pretty calm nowadays offering gated parks where people can take their kids to play or simply enjoy the warm sunshine of California, this area had many ups and downs going through another downturn in the 1990s before being saved by Joel Bloom and his supporters who officially renamed the area the Arts District. Today it is home to even more creatives than ever including many pioneers in green technology, architecture and entertainment. One cafe that stood out to me architecturally but also on a green level is Earth Cafe which is a chain of cafes serving organic heirloom coffee beans and beverages as well as organic tea, boba tea, salads, sandwiches and pastries. 
The chain has become so popular that there are Earth cafes in Los Angeles, Las Vegas, as well as Tokyo, Japan, and Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Here's a mural in the Arts District that I really wanted to highlight, and it's the mural of Kobe Bryant. It's a really huge mural that takes up the whole side of a building, and it's really beautiful because it honors Kobe Bryant, but also his daughter, Jenna Bryant, and they both died in a helicopter crash over two years ago, and it's a really beautiful memorial to him. He was a really loved NBA player, and he was obviously playing for the LA Lakers, and we are in Los Angeles, and it's just beautiful that they honored him in such a delightful way, and at the same time, the mural is really gorgeous, it's really detailed, and it's huge. It's pretty impressive, and it's in a really cool location too because it's on the side of the street, so it's really viewable for a lot of cars, and uh, yeah, I just needed to highlight it because he is an icon, he is a legend, and at the same time, it's super beautiful. <sighs> Isn't this cool? I'm literally in the middle of a piece of artwork. I am standing and sitting in a piece of artwork. I wasn't kidding when I said that the arts district is filled with art. There's just too much to see and a lot of the paintings, a lot of the murals just keep on turning and changing and switching all the time. But it is cool because it's always an excuse to come back to this area, but I really feel like I am walking in a painting just being in this district. It's kind of out of this world. Even though the most commercial arts district streets have a very artsy feel to them, if you're willing to wander in the more empty streets adjacent to the coffee shops and restaurants, you may come across some lesser known art pieces. It may feel a little bit sketchy walking through these industrial streets as there aren't a lot of people, but the streets are safe here and it is worth to take a small detour in order to discover what art has been formed through the imagination of these various artists. They do say that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and this mural behind me is truly gorgeous in my eyes. And as I did show you guys, there's a ton of murals here in the Arts District, but some pieces of art will speak to a person a little more than other pieces of artwork, and this one certainly speaks to my soul, and I really, really love it. It depicts a woman and her soul going, getting out of her body, kind of like an out-of-body experience, and the colors are purple and blue, so it's very reminiscent of all the 80s movies and all the 80s horror films and sci-fi films and all the good stuff that I've always loved and preached in a lot of my movies. So yeah, this is a truly gorgeous piece of artwork, and uh, yeah, I'm so happy to be able to highlight it in this video. This mural is actually called Soul Traveler and was painted by Carly Ely, who is a self-taught fine artist, muralist, and photographer based out of San Diego. As for this mural, it's located on the corner of Seton and Fifth and was painted live during the Container Yard's Fresh Coat Mural Fest with Hanson Soda in October of 2017. According to the artist, the mural is a visual representation of astral projection. Even though some sections of the art district are very industrial looking, well there is another section of the arts district which is closer to little Tokyo, which is the Japan town of downtown LA, which is much more modern looking. And this is actually the part of the arts district that has a lot of restaurants and cafes. Not that the other part doesn't have any, but there's much more right here and it's much more concentrated. And it's really fun and for people who are tourists, maybe uh, it looks a little bit safer than the other section, even though the other part is just as safe. It just, as I said, looks a little bit more post-apocalyptic, but it's kind of cool to see that there's so many different things happening right here. And obviously, if you are a little bit bored of the arts district, well, you can go to little Tokyo and see some Japanese culture too. So yeah, downtown LA is a real treasure trove of all of these little nooks and neighborhoods, and I really love exploring them. One building that I wanted to highlight in the Arts District is the Angel City Brewery, which was founded in 1997. This red brick building has stood here for over 100 years and really stands out primarily by its very central location, but also because of how massive it is. And even though this building is old, many other buildings in this district are over a century old, and by LA standards, this makes it a historical area. And if you're not too much into the regular kind of art, well, they also have a lot of street art, which ranges from street art, kind of like what I have behind me, but they also have graffiti art and so many different kind of things. And I didn't really notice any uh, 
I'll say sections in this district where there's more street art or more contemporary art or more modern art in one section than the other. It's just kind of a blend, a melting pot. I think that owners of these businesses and buildings are pretty much allowed to do whatever artwork they want to do as long as it's not hateful artwork, obviously. So yes, you're going to have to walk through all the streets in order to really visit every kind of piece of artwork that exists. But here it's a lot of graffiti stuff, so I did want to highlight it because it does have its charm. The subject of graffiti has always been controversial within the art scene because countries usually have laws that say that marking or painting property without permission is considered by property owners and civic authorities as defacement and vandalism, which is a punishable crime, citing the use of graffiti by street gangs to mark territory or to serve as an indicator of gang-related activities. Even though these particular walls in the arts district may have more of an urban or graffiti feel to them, I can assure you that they were done legally and really do add a charm to this area. I find it pretty crazy how many new buildings are in this area and it's really the high class living in some way or they want to kind of maybe mimic the New York lifestyle with the loft uh, apartments and condos and it's really kind of interesting to see that there's all this luxury stuff right here because well as I did mention downtown is really cool in some areas but at the same time there is a lot of poverty so there, there's this kind of combination which is kind of weird but anyways I did want to show you guys because I thought that this was interesting and I really hope that you guys enjoyed coming on this arts district walk and visiting all these areas and looking at all this art and if you did enjoy it well please be sure to subscribe hit the like button leave me a comment too let me know what artwork you thought was really the best and maybe if I missed some artwork let me know too because as I said there's always things to discover and I love discovering these things so please let me know and with that being said have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video.